hello everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel today i would like to share with you this bubblicious pillowcase that it's so cute and has all these bubbles on it i made it two colors but you can do it one or many colors as you like and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to customize this bubblicious pillowcase for any size that you want everything depends on how big you want to make your pillow so to make a 20 inch pillow you should chain 68 um, just you have to keep in your mind that you have to make a multiply of four so everything depends on how bigger you want to make it um, in this example that i'm showing you today um, i'm gonna chain 24 but of course this is a small example so keep watching and let's start and let's do it together so first of all make the slip knot just this way and then i'm gonna chain 24 as i said of course everything depends on how big you want to make it so of course for this example it's enough 24 but for a pillow for a cover whatever just make multiply of four and you'll be great by this way plus you can change the color during this process so you can make it very colorful so just one color plain or whatever so i finished the 24 uh, chains now what we'll do so now we're gonna start the second round so now we, will, we should make a single crochet in every stitch now you see not on the first one but in the second one okay pull over and make a single crochet now again a single crochet in the next chain just like that so you have to do like that all on all chains that you have so a single crochet in every chain just like that so you can see how is it so continue this way now I finish it all over now we will start the third round so chain three so what you're gonna do now we will make our first bubble uh, in the same stitch in the center first stitch so yarn over and push it through the stitch this way now pull over and we have two now again do it one more time and pull it over the first two but it's why we have three on our hook one more time we should do it a total of six so on our chain we should have six so one more time we'll do it just this way and pull it through the first two so by this way we have six now pull over all the stitches just like that by this way we're creating our bubble now we should make in the next stitch one single crochet and pull it over you see you can, how we can see we have our first bubble it's as easy as that now we'll continue and we'll make one more um, single crochet because by this way we are creating the space between bubbles but you can make it also bubbles near so by this way you will not need to make these two single crochets between them very well now we'll start our next okay just like that so depend on the 
space that you want to make so I made three now we'll have make a double crochet and by this way we are making another bubble so we'll pass through the first two chains and we'll do it the second time the first two then we have three on our hook one more time pass it through the first two we have four we'll do it one more time pass it through the first two loops now we have five so we'll do it one we'll draw past all of them very well now single crochet in the next one pass it through very well so by this way we have two bubbles and we have the space between them now we will make three uh, single crochet and then into the next uh, stitches we have one single crochet the second one how you can see just like that this is for space so now we we'll make the our bubble so just like that so we are passing through the first two then again and passing through the first two just like that continue to do it until you will have six loops on your hook then if you can see we have six now pass the yarn all over the, the chains just like that so but then single crochet into the next but stitch just like that and pull over so by this way we are having these bubbles so now another single crochet and one more single crochet so the total of three so the first one we made it after the bubble and then we're making two more so by this way we are having the bubbles with the space between them so continue by this way all over just like that how I did so you can see that this is the result it's very easy and it's so beautiful when you are putting them together so now we'll start the next round now turn your work and now you will have to make a single crochet in every stitch that you have got up so a single crochet in every one just like that so we're having one two so a single crochet in each one and you will have to continue it this way all over until the end a single crochet just like that how you can see it's very easy and it's quite fast to do it and finish it so by this way you will enjoy your work so continue all over So here we have our work done just like that you can see how much it's cute with all these nice bubbles now we're ready for the next round now we are starting the next one and the first you have to make two single crochets by this way the next bubble you will make it just in the middle this is the second one now here we will make the bubble so let's start making the bubble so it's one double crochet and pull over the second two then is the second and pull over the first two and by this way you will have um, six chains on your hook as we said then pull over all of them all six by this way we are making our bubble 
so I already have six so I will pull all over the stitches just like that and one single crochet here I'm sorry you are not really seeing it um, okay by this way we need the next bubble so we can see it's just in between uh, the, the um, two bubbles that are down so just like that how you can see it's in between so care about that the bubbles to be in between but of course if you are making many bubbles you cannot see that so one single crochet and another one by this way we are making the space between uh, bubbles just like that so we have to check always that the next bubble will be in the middle so double crochet and turn over the uh, pull over the first two pull over the first two so double crochet and pull over the first two chains just like that until you will have six on your hook just like that and then two chains after single crochets after just to make space between uh, the bubbles just like that so I already have six here so I'll pull over all of them just like that very well and one single crochet this way and now continue all over just like that how you can see it's very easy So you can see the bubbles are like that in the middle it's very beautiful also when you are making many colors so here is the result that I made just like that you can see so as we can say it, it's bubbles space between bubbles and between one round of bubbles and another one it's single crochets for all chains just like that By this way you can make any pattern you want it's very beautiful to make a pillowcase or a cover it depends on what you want to do you can make also a small bag to keep things inside it's also beautiful just make the multiply of four and by this way you will not get wrong and you will have a beautiful pattern So this is the result of my example um, so now I will show you my uh, pill case here we have I made it two colors purple and pink I made it for my daughter so I've made this one and I made two of them the same size here we have a pillow so now I'm gonna cover the pillow so just like that how you can see I'm gonna put one piece there and this is the second one how you can see now I'm gonna stitch them together and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it it's very easy and it's so beautiful so let's stitch them together just like that so I have this color, this purple color. So where it's purple, I'm gonna use purple. And when it's pink, I'm gonna use pink. Just to don't, let's see the difference. You know, if I will make pink on the purple, it will be visible that it's different color. So if you want, do it this way. If you're not, you can make any color you want. So we'll start by this way. Now we're gonna stitch them together. So here we have the first single crochet. Just like that this is the first one and pull through just like that this is the first one and now I'm gonna make a double crochet in every stitch we have care about to pull through both by this way your pillowcase will not open just like that so double crochet all over just like that so as I say use purple color for purple and pink for pink or whatever you want depends on which color you will choose just like that so this is a double crochet so continue this way 
all around the pillowcase. And here we have the final result, as you see. It's so nice and you cannot see where I stitch it around because I use the pink and purple color like, like that. So everything is so cute and so beautiful. I'm so happy with the result. Hope you enjoy it. Like my video, share it and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Let me know if you like it.